This is 3 News. Kia ora, good morning and welcome to First Line. We'll be bringing you all the day's news from here and around the world, business, sport and weather, every morning from 6 to 8.30. This week, though, we continue with our special coverage of the Christchurch quake. Um, sometimes they don't know where they're allowed to go, um, but it's pretty obvious when we've got a cordon in place. And, and as I say, people have been very tolerant, which is great. Um, but we haven't had people trying to penetrate the cordons overnight at all. All right, that's great news. All right, you need to probably go and get some sleep if you've been working overnight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sandra Manderson, the Superintendent and Overnight Commander here in Christchurch. Rachel. Hamish, thanks very much indeed. Let's take a, look, take a look now at some of the other news stories you're waking up to this morning. Forces loyal to the Libyan leader, Colonel Gaddafi, have launched airstrikes and engaged in ground battles with a rebel force that's advancing towards the capital, Tripoli. The opposition fighters pushed out of the rebel-held eastern half of Libya late last week and have been cutting a path west towards Tripoli and along the way they have secured control of two important oil ports. More than 200,000 people have fled the country since the uprising began. The Whanganui District Council will meet today to discuss how to respond to a High Court ruling that the city's gang patch ban is in fact unlawful. Mayor Annette Main says they'll consider whether to accept the decision, appeal it or develop a new bylaw. The Hells Angels sought a judicial review of the patch ban, arguing that the bylaw which bans the wearing of gang insignia in public in Whanganui is invalid. Kiwi's captain Benji Marshall has been charged with assault after an incident outside of Sydney McDonald's. It's alleged that Marshall punched a man in the face after he was racially abused. Channel 7's Sean Berry reports. We'll have more from Christchurch in just a moment, but first let's take a quick look at the day's weather. A large high nudges nearer and is set to bring fine weather to much of the country. Frontal activity in the east will gradually fade away later in the day. To the deep south and showers should retreat in Invercargill and Dunedin this morning. There's some early cloud for Queenstown which will clear by midday. Showers clear this afternoon for Canterbury. Nelson is mainly fine with a chance of an afternoon shower there and occasional showers in the capital will ease this afternoon. Further north in New Plymouth there's long fine spells with a few showers later in the day and for the top of the North Island the sun will be out with just a few showers in the west of Northland. Now, a number of briefings will be held today in the worst affected parts of Christchurch, with information being given by the Mayor Bob Parker, along with members of the Fire Service, Police and Civil Defence. The meetings will be held in Cuthbert's Green at 10am for residents of Avondale, Avonside, Aranui, Dallington, Linwood and Wainoni at Waltham Park at midday for residents of St Martins, Opawa, Murray Ainsey and Beckenham at Summerfield Park at 2 o'clock this afternoon for people from Summerfield, Cashmere and Spraydon and at South Hagley Park Cricket Ground at 4pm. That's for residents from the Central district, Business District. Slowly uh, but surely... Uh... We're getting there. Hamish Clark in Christchurch, thanks so much for your time this morning. And thank you for joining us too this morning. You can keep up to date on the Christchurch earthquake and all our other stories on our website. It's 3news.co.nz and I'll be back with 3news at midday. I'm Rachel Smalley. Thanks so much for watching. Good morning.